This is a grade 7 math practice test for T and Ready. Question on this version, number 24. Tom swam at a pool each day for five days during one week. The number of people at the pool when he arrived on each of these days is shown. 12, 19, 17, 26, and 26. What is the mean number of people who were at the pool when Tom arrived on these days? So we're looking at a measure of central tendency, which is to say, where's the middle? But how you define the middle is different. We're working on mean here. If we were doing median, we would find the middle of the actual numerals. So we put these in order and da 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 da. That's how we do it. In this case, we're doing mean, which is to say we're finding the average. Back in the old days, we used to have like, well, your mean teacher averages are great together. But that seems like sort of throwing shots at the teacher for no good reason and they're not being mean they're just trying to calculate your grade now you may have a mean teacher but and they may do average but it's just a coincidence i use weighted averages so who knows what that even means anyway to do this we're going to find the sum of these terms so we're going to add this all together the upside of doing mean is you do not have to put the numbers in numeric order it doesn't matter and then we're going to divide by how many there are. So you do sum over how many in a very colloquial way. There's five terms, so I'm just going to add them up. That's maybe one of the worst 19s I've done, and I've done some bad-looking numbers in my life, but oh well. You teach, you think it would help work on your handwriting, and it's gotten better, but it's still not good. Anyways, let me erase this. And again, this is a situation where if there's a calculator allowed section, I'm definitely going to do it, but I'm going to use it in a kind of a way that helps me make sure that I fall through and then I can go back and check without having to do the whole thing over again. So what I'll do is add together my numerator. I accidentally hit the wrong button. I still think it's that, but just making sure I don't kick back into the memory or something. There we go. 100. And then I'm going to divide by 5. So I would have this and then make some note. I would usually put it over here, but I kind of ran out of room. And then, of course, 100 divided by 5 is 20. So that's my mean value. So I'm going to go over here at my answer choices and look around a bit. And my answer is here. And I'm going to make a note to myself that it's R just in case when I try to carry it over to the answer sheet. I don't make a little mistake that could cost me points for no reason. I also want to think, is that reasonable? Okay, so 14 seems really low to be the middle. 26, obviously, that's the top end of the range, so it's not going to be that. That would be the mode also because there's two of them. This is really a question about do you know the difference between median, mode? Mode is, of course, the most. It's the number that you see the most times, and 26 exists twice. And then mean, of course, is the one we're working on an average. 19 could be somewhere in there. That's the median, by the way. So make sure that you know median, mode, and mean and know what the difference is have some way to remember which one is which and when to apply them and it shouldn't be that difficult a problem and use a calculator if you have a calculator uh, just make sure that you're smart about it and you're not just typing it all in and then just hoping for the best if you type in all of this as one big problem it could lead you to a big problem so This is what a lot of people do all at once. And so you get this really weird answer. Because what it's done is divided 26 by 5 because word of operation says that division comes before anything else. So then it adds the rest of the numbers on later. Don't fall for that. Complete the numerator. Write it down. Write the denominator down. And then do their division. That way you make sure that you get the answer correct. Anyway, the answer to this question is R.